Hi, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we will cover how to integrate GitHub with UiPath. Let me open UiPath Studio first. So here in UiPath Studio, let's say the first step is to create a project. So I have already created a project here. Now you need to connect UiPath project with the GitHub. Now before that, we are going to set up this one. So let's do it here. You can see here right side down there is a option that is add to source control. It means you can add this this project to the source control. Source control get SVN TFS like that. You will have already learned from the previous video. If you have not seen that video please go through that first. Now if you click on this, you can see we are getting all these options here. Git, init, copy to git, add to tfs, add to svn. So we are getting all these options here. Why? Because all these options already enabled on this UiPath Studio in my machine. Now let me show you how to enable or disable these options. You can go to home, click on teams and here you can see we are getting all these options right for git there are five options for tfs there are four options and for svn four options so for this video series we are going to use git let me show you from where we can disable or enable these options if you don't want this tfs and svn on this page you can go to tools click on plugins and here you can see these three are enabled. You just need to disable this one by one and it will restart your UiPath Studio. And then you will see only Git on this Teams page. Now let me go back to Teams here. And you can see here there are five options. Clone repository which is used to clone a remote Git repository. You must be aware of this word clone. Clone means basically a duplicate a repository. So using this clone repository, you can download or you can copy the remote repository to your local system. Second, we have copy to git, which is used to copy the current project to an existing git repository. We have git init, which is used to add the current project to a new local git repository. Now adding the current project to the new local git repository, that means by using git init, you can initialize the git and what will happen if you initialize the git you can create a local git repository for a project it means for this project for which we are going to use git in it and once you create a local repository you will be able to push your files to the remote repository now we have disconnect disconnect current project from the source control currently this is disabled and will be enabled once the project is connected with the source control. We'll see this option later. Once we'll connect our project with the source control with the git. Now the last one we have change signature. This is also disabled. This is used to change the commit signature. So you heard two words local repository and remote repository. Now what is local repository? A local repository is hosted on a local machine for an individual users and it is local folder that resides on your local machine. When you initialize a git repository, it creates a hidden git directory that you can find like dot git that inside your project folder. So here you will see that. Let me open this project folder from this file explorer. And then here you will see that dot git folder. To see that git here, click on this view menu and then click on hidden items. So here you will see that hidden folder that is dot git. Now what is remote repository? A remote repository is the place where your code is stored remotely and that could be your repository on platform like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, etc. Or it could be completely different server. Now let me show you how to initialize the git first. First we are going to create our local repository and then we'll able to move that to the remote repository. 
right so first understand the concept create a local repository and then that repository you will move to the remote so for that we'll go to home we'll click on git init so till now there is no required to use any platform to connect your project with the github or any other source control platform so first it is asking you to select the current project so our project is this one first process underscore git repo we'll select this parent folder this is the main folder now once we'll click on that you'll see here we are getting all the files which is by default checked we have option select all so by using this you can select all these files select none nothing will be selected you will click on that right now select all to select all this so unversion files so if you we'll uncheck this there is no file here because these are unversion we have not even not created anything right currently we are going to initialize this is the first step so we'll go with this so unversioned files there is no version created for this project so we'll check this first now here we have a commit message and what is commit basically commit means you are going to save this file save this project and the files to the local repository but before committing you have to enter the message and this message will help for the tracking changes purpose right you remember the the features of git so for that you have to put here the the details of that like why you are going to make the changes so first time i'm saying that it's the first time you are saving this one now here we have three buttons commit and push commit and cancel cancel you know that this is just it will just cancel this process now commit commit means it will save this project to your local repository and now the third one we have commit and push if we we'll directly click on this so it will not only save the files these files to the local repository but also it will help you to push this these files to the remote repository so mostly people choose here commit and push directly like save that files to, to the local repository and push that to the remote also we'll click on commit first now you can see here once you click that button that commit you will see few changes on your project you can see here this is the icon and this icon and once you'll right click on this you see few options available here here also you can see one unpushed commit it means the first time one time one changes we did and only one commit which is still not pushed to the remote here you can see no pending changes now here you can see the project name here you can see the branch name this is the main by default you can manage the branches also we have refresh remote branches manage the remotes pull and push now just to verify that local git repository is created or not you have to go to your project folder and then you can see here this is hidden if you we'll click on this one you will not see but once you we'll click on hidden item this checkbox from the view menu you will see this git dot git and it has few folders and files available now let me go back to the studio now go to home and you can see from the teams you can see disconnect and change these two options now enabled if we we'll click on disconnect so now this time it will just disconnect this project from the git now it's time to push the file to the remote repository and for that we should have a remote repository so we are going to use a platform to use this git is the github for that you have to open a browser you have to log into this github.com if you have an account then you can just log into the sign in into this one if you don't have an account you can just create an account 
If you don't know how to do this one, just go through my previous video. Now the next step, you have to create a repository on this platform. This is the dashboard. This is the first GitHub repository, the remote repository you can see I have created. If you don't know how to create that, just go through the previous video. Let me open this one. Let me click on that. So after logging into this GitHub, you have to create a repository. If you already have that, so you have to go to this, open this repository and then you will see one URL and using this URL will be able to connect this GitHub with the UiPath Studio with your project. So we'll just copy this and then you have to go back to the UiPath Studio and then click on this main branch. You can see this branch click on push. Push means we are just moving this. We are sending this file to the remote repository. Click on push. And now here you can see manage remotes. You have to enter the URL which you just now copied from GitHub. Here in this name, you need to enter the remote repository name. So we'll go to this and we need to copy this name. So let me copy this from here. Right click copy and just paste that. Now click on add. So this repository we have just now added here. Now click on save. Now once we we'll save this, this will push the changes. It means these files to the GitHub platform that is github.com. Now you can see here once you we'll click on that, it is asking you to authorize that. You can see UiPath by UiPath would like permission to access this one. So you can verify the details. So click on authorize. If you will not authorize, you will not able to connect GitHub with the UiPath Studio. So we have to authorize this one. So click on authorize. So from here you have to open this. So let me click on open link. And by doing this one, it's going to sign in. Now you can see the access to the GitHub repository was denied. Please make sure that UiPath GitHub application is installed and configured for your account. You may install it at this path. So you have to go to this, open this URL. It will redirect to you one page here and then you have to install this UiPath. So we are going to select for all repository, not for the selected one so that we can use this later on also. So we'll click on install. So it's going to install this UiPath. Now you have to enter your credential here. Let me confirm. Okay, I just now log into this one. And now you can see here, okay, UiPath was installed on this account. So this is like a connector to connect GitHub with the UiPath Studio. Now we'll go back to the UiPath Studio again. We'll close this. And you can see here, this is already signed in here. Now we just need to click OK. Okay, so now we just now move the files to the remote repository. From here you can verify. We are not getting any count here. It's showing zero. It means there are currently no unpushed commit. And from here you can see we are getting sign out from GitHub. It means we have already signed in into this one. And you can see the branch also changed here. Earlier it was just a main. Now it is showing your repository slash main. It means inside your repository there is a main branch. To verify that, that you have successfully pushed the files, pushed this project to the remote repository or not. Just go to this, click on your repository, click refresh and you can see here updated one minute ago. Click on this, your repository. There are three folders and two files have been moved to this remote repository. And this is the, the message, this is the commit message which we have added while pushing the files to the GitHub, the remote repository. And by looking at this message, anyone can understand these files have been moved as a part of the first version of first deployment, right? So now you have successfully created a local repository 
and the remote repository and you have also moved your files from local repository to the remote repository. I hope there is no confusion now. Thank you.